December 2nd, 2022, approximately 5 a.m. Today, December 2nd, is somebody's birthday. All the street cats were fed and accounted for and given fresh food and water. Goofy was howling all night last night. I got so upset with him I couldn't sleep. He kept waking me up. I had to apologize this morning for yelling at him. But what the heck is he howling at? Goofy is the strangest cat I ever met. It's like he's from another universe. It seems like he was raised with dogs because of his mannerisms. He always shakes his head like a dog and kind of acts like a dog. I started growling at him last night after he was howling. And he seemed like he was like a little scared, like knew what a dog growling was. Spotty Cat, the street cat, seemed to have a minor eye injury. Uh, but it looked much better today than it did yesterday. And as well as little Ricky is getting a lot has gotten a lot better she's gotten over her sickness and or her depression and she's you know actually trying to get out trying to escape she's searching for some action i plan to get little ricky fixed but she needs to wait at least a few weeks i just paid december's rent and i'm pretty tapped and overdue on bills i didn't sell as many cat lives matters t-shirts as i thought i would and I probably haven't sold a copy of my book in over a month. I lowered the price to $9.99, but I might as well jack it back up to $19.99. I don't even have the Shopify link up on my profile anymore. I put the Amazon wish list back up. It seems like people are much more likely to send me cat food than they are to buy my book, understandably so. There are 29 days left in this year. When I look back at the end of 2022, I will always remember watching the one and only Winter <coughs> World Cup. As I write this, there's an exciting match going on in the background. South Korea just scored a dramatic goal in the final minutes to possibly send them to the Sweet 16 over Uruguay. The South Korean fans are in the crowd bawling, crying. They're so happy. It shows how powerful this game is. Usually I preach against watching sports because I spent so much of my life watching basketball, but there's something special about the World Cup, and since it happens only every once every four years, I'm not necessarily wasting three hours every day like I normally would every year during the NBA playoffs. Politics, history, and government are three of my favorite subjects, and the World Cup has all of those. When I'm in my bedroom, my office, my classroom, I spend a good part of the day looking at a huge map of the world. I'd love to have a globe, actually. I'll probably put that on my wish list. I try not to rely on others, and I like to think of myself as pretty self-sufficient. I've never been, quote-unquote, begged in my life. I've always tried to offer something, whereas offer my book or offer those t-shirts I'm selling. I know I make entertaining videos here on TikTok as well, and I take care of a lot of CATs. In my mind, it's only a matter of time before me and the street cats turn the corner and pay back everybody for all the help we've received.